the challenge is is that historically we've been able to to pretty easily map between can you speak language and are you conscious? And it isn't that that isn't a very complicated question, which Mustafa would agree as to well, when is when is it that you are conscious? And I think Mustafa was at Google when there was some engineer who said, well, I asked if it was conscious and it said it was. So therefore it must be. <laughs> and he's like, okay, that's, let's not be that quite that simplistic. But the notions of, you know, kind of like self-awareness, self-reflection, the notions that would come up, you know, not as kind of a simple like 30 minute Turing test, but also this kind of question around like how we learn of others con- others minds and other consciousness by how we navigate the world together how we we communicate not just by sitting in a you know kind of between behind two terminals and so i think that's it's exactly right to not jump to it too quickly cuz you know we as human beings also have this weird thing of both over and under ascribing consciousness, over ascribing consciousness, like, you know, your car, you know, come on, Georgia, you can do it <laughs> to under ascribing consciousness. Like, well, you know, these animals, they're not conscious. Like, well, it's a little complicated. Look at how they're navigating the world, etc. Basically, it was a very good kind of warning shot because what happens is people have the language experience and then go, well, I asked it was conscious and it said it was.